Good morning and happy pancake day. Today we are going to be making the original healthy pancakes which is just egg and banana. So that all it is is one egg, one banana topped with some strawberries and 13 calories worth of sweet freedom naturally occurring chocolate cocoa. Okay so 199 calories this works out so we are going to be making this from scratch so I can show you a how quick and easy it is and b how delicious it is now some people don't like them I particularly prefer them first thing in the morning and the good thing is that 199 calories and so easy to make they can be a stable breakfast so let's make it guys so the first thing you need is one banana now the riper the banana the better so this one you can see it's just showing signs of being a little bit brown. So this one's perfect. So all you need to do is undo your banana, throw it in a nice big bowl so you've got enough space to mash, and just mash it with a fork. Now I have used a blender before, but to be honest with you, I prefer just to mash it up because you've got that rustic texture then to the actual pancake. Because you have to remember, it's never going to be a proper batter, is it? So you might as well taste the egg and taste the banana, opposed to just pretending. Right, so that's mashed up. You can see that was literally seconds to do. I'm not even going to mash it that well. As I said, I want it a little bit rustic. Then I'm going to get my free-range egg. So just one free-range egg. There's lots of recipes floating around the internet. Some use more egg. Some use more banana. Uh, from my experience of making them, the ratio of one egg per one banana seems to taste the best. Okay, so I'm just mixing that up. Then you'll see behind me, I've got my frying pan ready over that side. And all I'm going to do is add a little bit of organic coconut oil. So a tiny little bit guys, not too much. And the good thing about coconut oil, when you can get it out, is it does go a long way. So because I've preheated that, it's melting. Look, can you see? So just use the tiny little bit and obviously move that around. Now I've got it on a low heat. Because we're making a live video, I'm going to turn it up to medium, but normally I'd keep it on low and slowly cook the pancake. Okay, so I'm just going to bang that straight in. And as I said, all it is, is banana and egg. Now get it to the edge of your pan. This is a medium pan, but obviously if you've got one of those special pancake pans, you can of course, do lots of little ones. Donna, my kitchen is still not fully working so no pancakes for me. Right Donna, you and John might have to go to McDonald's and share a portion of pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do Donna, don't go to Morrison's because they're doing that massive stack again and I don't want you to eat all those because it comes with fresh cream as well. Right. Now I'll talk about the toppings. Now you may have seen me sharing with my uh, slimmers. Aldi have done this, this has just come out this week. It's the Mint Sweet Freedom Chocolate. Um, this is the original chocolate. I actually, oh, this is my favorite. Um, for those of you who do like sweeter things and not so chocolatey, this is the free, fruit, free, Sweet Freedom Fruit Syrup. Uh, but I've only seen this available at Waitrose uh, and Sainsbury's I think do it as well so that's quite hard to get hold of uh, but again that's only 13 calories per teaspoon uh, and really sweet basically honey alternative so we're going to add as I said a little bit of the original chocolate and then we're going to also prepare some strawberries now these are the wonky strawberries at Aldi these are just 99p at the moment also on offer are the blueberries so if you like a bit of blueberry Pop down to Aldi to get some special buys this week. So I'm going to get my three strawberries. And I'm going to turn that down. You can see it is smoking a little bit. Now, within my tossing experience of these pancakes, you need to be really careful that it is well cooked before you toss it. 
Now, as always, we are using hot oil, so please be very careful. Gia and other young ones making pancakes today, you should be supervised. <laughs> If you haven't seen me and Gia making pancakes, is on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. So I've just got three strawberries and I've just halved them up, ready to place on the top. Now you can see just straight away that that's looking quite firm. So I'm just going to loosen it up before I toss it. Right, now it is, <laughs> here we go guys. Ready? Three, two, one. No. <laughs> it's so we're so close, guys. So close. There we go. Just a little bit of movement, and we're back. Now, as I said, I much prefer to do a nice low heat, and it will be nice and golden like this one here, because I'm using a medium heat. This is why maybe it is a little bit. Uh, on the brown side but all I'm going to do to finish it off is those three strawberries and then the teaspoon of sweet freedom chocolate which is just 13 calories so this is how we get to those 199 calories uh, the egg is 70 calories the banana depending on the size between 70 and 100 and obviously we did have about 30 calories worth of coconut oil in there as well the other reason I prefer to use coconut oil when cooking these pancakes is again because you've just got that lovely coconut flavour. Obviously if you don't like coconuts then use the rapeseed oil. So my pancake is now done. As I said it's not quite as good as my display one. But what I'm going to do is put my six strawberries on the plate and then the Sweet Freedom Chocolate. Linda's just had her porridge with her Sweet Freedom, I'm sure. And then what we're gonna do, this is where you get to be arty and just, oh, that came out now lovely and slow. Ta-da! And that is your 199 banana and strawberry egg pancake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Bev, yes, it is a teaspoon shot because it's called a chock shot uh, and Bev was quite worried that she was going to have 25 mil in a shot glass. No, Bev, don't do it. So that has been my banana pancakes. If you'd like to watch this video from the beginning, this is how it looks like when you cook it slowly, uh, go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Happy Pancake Day.